back in 1989, the student protest, there were very little, pro very few protests then, and any protest was a, was a huge deal, and the government would have to confront, do we crack down, can we make it go away, do we start arresting people immediately, and they were, they were rare events, and they, they required a kind of dramatic response. Now there are tens of thousands of protests across China all the time, they, and they've, they've probably accelerated um, during the sort of recessionary period. And they, they tend to be, you know, workers and, and farmers, you know, people who have kind of, probably workers mostly, who have small-scale issues, localized issues about factory conditions, about layoffs, things like that. And, you know, the, the government has, has managed to, to, to handle those, you know, that, that they realize, okay, this is going to happen, but that doesn't fundamentally threaten the state. I mean, when it's, it's kind of when the, when the intellectuals, when the elite take to the streets, that that then becomes a problem. Um, but, you know, th there is concern. China has a big stimulus package of its own uh, that seems to be working. Uh, China has been hit, uh, you know, I think exports are down 25%. I mean, it's a huge figure. That represents a lot of money. That represents a lot of factory closures. Although still, compared to the hit that the U.S. has taken, they seem to be surviving relatively well.